Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I thought that it would be fun to sit down and record this video really for three reasons, just to kind of have a heart to heart with you. Um, reason number one being that this channel is all about inspiring, encouraging you to get out of your own way. And so of course, naturally that's gonna happen. Um, number two is because I wanna invite you to a little something. So I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But the third reason is because I had some makeup on today. We went to this like neighborhood holiday party thing and I had some makeup on and I'm like, man, I don't really want to wash this off. I want to like take advantage. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to film a sit down video. So it's kind of a couple of reasons why this is happening right now, but I'm in the midst of doing Vlogmas and I have a long list of things I want to talk about and share. And whenever you are doing just a lot of content creation and cranking out a lot of things, it can be very easy to feel burnt out. It can feel like, man, I've already talked about this and different things. And so I am deciding to kind of ignore that negative self-talk and I'm pushing through and continuing on with Vlogmas. But today I wanted to do the sit down video to really encourage the woman that may be feeling like this year, this year of 2023, right now that we are currently in, or if you happen to be watching this in the future and it's another year, or shoot, 2024 is ending or whatever it is, a season, a month where you decided one thing that you wanted to do, like you went into it knowing, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna commit to it, I'm gonna give my all, I'm gonna figure out what I need to know, how much it is, you know, all of those different things but life happened things got in the way mental health got in the way moving got in the way big life changes got in the way a lot of different things just stopped you in your tracks and the plan that you ultimately had just did not come to pass for whatever reason that may be and this plan could have been a business it could have been something related to you maybe you wanted to make this like your year of really getting out there and putting yourself out there to date again or to just get more active and really take your health more seriously. Maybe this was your year of travel. You know, there's so many different things and life can throw a lot of curveballs at us. And I just wanna speak from a place of transparency of someone who has gone through a very big life change this year and how sometimes the way that we anticipate things to go just doesn't quite equal the outcome. And so I was actually on a call for this Advent Bible study that I'm doing right now this morning. And we were kind of talking about the first week of the Bible study because it's going all the way through December. It's a part of this membership that I am, but they're kind of doing like this Bible study thing just as a component. So definitely, you know, if you're looking for some women to, uh, you know, just kind of like really get into the word of God alongside with in December, definitely check out the womanhood. Um, it's led by Tori Oglesby and it's a really, really amazing group. Um, overall, I'm in the membership, so I love the membership itself, but um, she is doing this kind of like this opportunity for anyone to join, to come together for this Advent setting. I've never done Advent before, but one of the things we touched on from week one was how a lot of the times, you know, I'm actually going to grab my Advent book because I feel like it's going to be even better because this is basically what is inspiring today's talk right now what I'm saying to you all I think I got like permanent marker on my hand but we gonna just roll with it so this is what it looks like by the way the advent study I think I probably shared this on a passive vlog from vlogmas but <laughs> anyway this is the advent study it's good news great joy it's from daily grace co and there is a different day pretty much it started on this past Sunday and it goes all the way up until Christmas, I believe. So it's about three-ish, yeah, four weeks long. So it'll take through the rest of the month. But I think it's it's really, really good. So what we were talking about is just a lot of different things. Like I think the biggest thing for me is I am really new to reading the Bible, getting into the Word. I'm more of like a worship girl I would say so like I really love to listen to some amazing gospel music um just really any type of worship music like I just love it that is really what takes me there and so this year I would say is really my first time I've tapped into bible study like really studying get really trying to understand the word 
um, really trying to get into conversation with other women to understand the word and put myself out there. It's been interesting. And so I've shared before that last month I read Proverbs and I felt like this really went into it pretty nicely with this Advent study. So anyway, she always asks us these questions just with a lot of the different things that she does. Again, y'all check out the womanhood. But one of the questions she specifically asked was how often has our expectations made us reject God's plan to us? And I wrote down on here, you know, it will feel uncomfortable, but it should be comfortable because he is with us. And so I want to ask you that same question, but I want to flip it in a sense of when you are looking at what you ultimately planned this year to look like, this last almost 365 days, what you planned it to look like versus what happened. Were there moments within this year where you felt resistance and even wanting to move forward with something because you were like, that is not at all how I picture this to be. Like that is not what I envisioned when I said I wanted this to happen. Like this is what I, this is what I thought that looked like, right? Like, you know, you think, oh, I'm going to start a business and that equals millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you think like, oh, I'm going to move across the country and that just equals peace and amazingness or oh, I'm going to start this new job and it just means like more income, more happiness, more all these things. We get the exact thing we prayed for and it looks totally different than how we pictured it. You know, it's just so many things it's like, you know, you go to a restaurant, somebody is raving about, I don't know, some shrimp dish or something, right? Like, oh my God, you got to try it. Like, it's so, so good. And maybe you weren't able to find the picture of it on Yelp, right? Like, you know, this is just like real life. And so you go there, you ask the, you know, you ask the waiter, they tell you like, oh yeah, like it's good. It's a, you know, it's a crowd favorite and all these things. And then it comes to you and you're like, oh, what is this? You know? So it's just like sometimes the way that things can be built up in our minds, whether that is from things that we see online, the way that it is portrayed by other people, you know, something can look, feel, sound one way, but then when you are actually living it yourself, it can feel totally different to you. And so, you know, for someone, they can be wearing entrepreneurship and it seems like it is just so effortless and easy and just money is just being thrown at them. And then for you, you feel like you are going to dang on war, you know, just to get one sale and you like, man, what is going on? Like, I'm just trying to get some followers, you know, like whatever it is. And it can have you looking at God like, you know, what is going on? Like, you know, you promised me this or this is what I prayed for. And so I'm asking you this and really thinking about it because sometimes it can be hard for us to then take that expectation that we had and to be able to sit in it and understand that that is the path we're on. That is the journey that we are on. And for whatever reason, it didn't look that way, but it doesn't mean that we failed. It doesn't mean that it makes us any less than what we amount to be. But in fact, you know, that is going to be the exact thing that is going to level us up. You know, it's going to be the thing that propels us to the next level of what it is. And it may still not be that level you're picturing in your mind, but it's going to continue to grow you as a person. And that sucks sometimes, you know, when you have to go through those growing pains, when you have to go through the humble beginnings of things and just the constant lifing of it all, like, there are so many different ladies within the membership that just over this year of getting to know their stories and all of their different types of businesses, but even more specifically their life stories, right? Like what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, what is really truly what matters, right? Like our businesses matter, um, you know, the impact and things we want to make on the world, they matter, but they are an extension of us. Typically the things we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis within our home, internally within us that is really what will make or break if that extension of us ever makes it beyond our mind if it ever even goes to any level of us being obedient because you know if we are stuck in ourselves right with the things that we have going on or if there's too many life factors happening then it can be very hard for us to even begin to give any attention to that so i wrote down a couple of points of how we can overcome this disappointment, I guess would be a good word, of what we expected versus what we got. <laughs> you know, um, it's, it's with so many things, you know, it's like you 
for some, you know, like it may be like, okay, you were excited to get married and then now this is the marriage. Or, you know, you were excited to become a parent and now, oh, this is being a mom. Like all of these things, they have great, amazing, amazing things that are a part of them and we pray for them and we hope for them because they're a part of these different life goals and things that we attain. But on the flip side, it can also have a lot of discomfort you know it can have a lot of learning or unlearning that needs to happen it can have so many just moments of confusion and just trying to understand like where's ashton am i getting punked like what's going on you know like life life be doing some things and so all of us are dealing with different transitions I know for me personally, just with my story, one of the things that I've shared on this channel for years was that we were living in New Mexico. We were away from family for so many years. And I prayed, you know, like that eventually we would be able to be with our family again. And my husband the same. But now since being here, since we've moved, we moved this past spring and it's just been like a weird wrestling within myself. Like I can't speak for my husband so much. Like we've had conversations and I kind of know how he feels about it. But like for me, it's just, it's this weird feeling of like, yes, I'm more than grateful that we moved here. A lot of things fell into place, especially at the last minute, just because there was a lot of waiting and waiting and waiting <laughs> to figure out what was happening for us to even set up our move, honestly, y'all. Like that in itself was crazy. But then we get here and, you know, it's like week after week, I keep waiting for me to feel like I'm at home. And I still, months later, six months later, don't feel at home. So it's just a weird feeling, you know, where like you anticipate something for so long, like for so many years, I'm like, oh, it's going to be amazing once we get back, you know, wherever. Like, even though granted, like when I did it, when I was thinking about this, I wasn't necessarily praying to move to South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't necessarily what I envisioned in my head. And so of course it's going to feel different. And a lot of times that's what that wrestling is. You know, it's where it's like, I want to accept that this is the new chapter. This is the path that God has me on. I'm here. I'm planted for a reason. There's something amazing that is going to happen. There is a breakthrough that's going to happen. There is a lesson that is going to take place. There is new heights that I'm going to reach, but I am resisting it. I am basically like the question was asked in the beginning. I'm rejecting God's plan in some aspects because I'm closed off to this because it's not what I pictured, you know? And like, I'm, I'm kind of in a lot of ways, I mean, I'm grieving the life that I had uh, in New Mexico. I'm grieving the house that we had only lived in for two years. You know, we had bought that home. I was so excited about being there. Um, and we really had established somewhat a life. And so as much as I was excited to move and be closer and all of those things, it's just, it hasn't been as easy of a transition and as I thought. And so it's just, it's so many things like that for a lot of us, you know, like maybe you wanted this new job, you got it. And it's just not really what it was cracked up to be. You started this business, you've been doing it this year and you're just kind of like, man, I don't like being on social media, you know? There will always be things that we just feel like we didn't sign up for, you know, even though it's like, this is the thing that I wanted, but I didn't sign up for this part. You know, like when I was praying to be a mom and I was, it was taking a long time to get pregnant and all of these different things were happening. Like, yes, you know, I am so grateful to be a mom, y'all. Like, you know, I talk about it all the time on this channel, but there are some aspects that I didn't sign up for, you know, things that I didn't expect, you know, just the constant changes and learning and really having to become comfortable with myself, you know, in order to be able to accept what it is to be a mom. Like there's so many things that when we say this is what I want to do, it's just a lot bigger than what we expect. And it's the same with entrepreneurship. It's so easy to say, okay, I want to start a business. But when you look at all of the layers of what it truly means to do that. It is so much more than just posting some pretty pictures online and being like, hey, I got some sales, y'all. Like, it's so much more than that. 
getting married is so much more than the wedding, you know? Like everyone is so always thinking about like the wedding planning and oh my dress and all of these different things, but it's like the marriage, you know? And the constant having to work on it and to make sure that everyone's on the same page and learning and loving each other. Everything is a constant journey of learning and growing in all of these different aspects of what we do. And they look in different seasons, we'll feel like we failed. We'll feel like this is not what I signed up for, right? I just wanted to give some encouragement to you. If you are resonating with any of what I'm saying, if you are feeling like, yes, this is me. Yes, I feel like what is even the point? If you're feeling discouraged, disappointed, if you're feeling like you've been rejecting God's plan, but you're ready to really commit to it. I think the biggest thing that we have to recognize is that Whatever it is that has been on your mind, possibly when I've been talking about something or that may come up as you start to plan for the new year, as you reflect and you think about the things that you set out to do, um, you know, and just whatever that looks like for you, because everybody does it differently. Um, it doesn't have to be even be like a vision board. It might just be, shoot, you might be sitting there on January 3rd and you're like, you know what? I think I might really want to try this, you know, but once we start getting in our heads, it can be really easy to just talk ourselves out of it and just let it go. But one of the things that I wanted to just say is that first is you are being called. If it is something that has continuously come up for you, whether it has been just you sitting in a moment and writing it down or thinking about it or dreaming of it, whether it's been, you know, you scrolling on YouTube and you happen to see someone doing something or talking about something similar to what has been on your mind. Maybe you meet someone and they kind of give you a word of encouragement or a prophetic message, right? That is like confirming what you've been thinking of. Maybe it is a situation where you just are at a point where there's no other option. You're like, okay, I got to bet on me. I got to do this. I have to try this out because I don't have any other choice. You are being called to that. So it's, you can't ignore it. It's not something that you can just continue to put off any longer. Like this is a charge to you to take the action, make the call, send the email, do the research, hire the coach get the encouragement, find the community, like whatever that looks like for you, attend the event, go to the place, you know, like sometimes it takes that extra step that we don't always want to do just because it's inconvenient, it's uncomfortable, it's unknown, but that might be just the thing we need. It might be as simple as asking the question, right? Of what it is that has been stopping you from moving forward with this thing that ultimately you are being called for. And I know that another thing that I wrote down is that you know you're being called, you feel it and it creeps up on you. So it may, you know, you might be able to ignore it for a little bit and then it comes back again. You think about it, it comes up when you're journaling, it comes up in prayer, it comes up when you just sit and mind your own business, it comes when you're in the shower, it comes when you're randomly binging a show on Netflix and you're like, ooh, I should be doing this, but, right? And it's in your face. And that is one of those things where you know, like, I am being called to this. Right now in my membership, the theme is committed to the call. And all this basically means is that no matter what life throws at you, no matter what your expectation was of this, you are being called and you're going to still commit anyway. You're going to still be obedient anyway, even though it looks different than what you thought even though you don't know exactly what the next step is gonna be, you're choosing to be faithful within that and you're still moving forward. Even still, even though you have no idea what this looks like for you. And so that's really what I wanna leave you with in this video before I invite you to a little something, is that you are called. And I know that it is so easy for us all to put off our talents our gifts, our abilities, the things that we laid down years ago that we said we weren't going to do again, but ultimately impacted people in certain ways that were for good. Those are the things that you are being called to do in this next season. And I urge you to take some time to sit with it, to pray about it, 
to truly get ready and get geared up, like buckle up, okay? Because this is truly your time to make this happen. I don't care how many people are doing it. I don't care if you've never seen anyone you personally know do it. If you don't understand how you're gonna make it happen, you will figure it out. There are things that I have had in my mind that I have dreamed of and wanted to do for so long that I sit sometimes and I'm like, I have no idea how I would even begin to figure that out. Or I feel like I have to be at this level for something like that to even be a possibility for me. Like I am that person that will talk myself out of something before I've even taken step one. Because it's just so easy to do that. It's so easy. It's easier to just sit there without taking any action, not putting any emotion into it, right? So just be like, oh yeah, that wouldn't really work out because X, Y, Z. Oh, I don't really have time for that right now because you know I got that thing going on. And it just becomes this vicious cycle of excuses and reasons why we can't make it happen. But at the end of the day, even if we can just dedicate five minutes to the thing that we are being called to do, there, I bet you there is something that you can move around in your day that will allow for this to have life breathed into it. Maybe one less scroll session, maybe one less episode that you're binging, maybe one less conversation at work, you know, like maybe, you know how you be getting ready to leave work and that person be like, oh, wait, hold on, did we talk about? And you'd be like, girl, I need to go, right? Like whatever it is, maybe one less talk radio episode or podcast or YouTube video, um, all of these things that are just sometimes distractions for us that don't really necessarily do anything sometimes it's just something for us to fill the time and make us feel like we're being productive but at the end of the day we could be using that to fuel into our own endeavors and our own things that we're trying to do and I'm just as guilty of this so when I'm saying it to you I'm saying it to myself as well it's just that if we could at least just give ourselves five minutes to start working towards something that can grow so much bigger than us, that can create freedom for us, that can create impact, that can create legacy. This is truly what we should be trying to put our focus onto. But instead, because of the unknowns and the fear, we just continue to let it just sit there. And it, it, it's sad because there's so many people that I've met with and they'll say like, oh yeah, this is a dream of mine for years. And I'm like, that can't happen any longer. Like we shouldn't have to think about things for years and not give them a try. And no, they may not look like how we expect it. When I imagine like, oh, I want to sell planners one day. I didn't necessarily imagine making them by hand. That wasn't how I imagined it, but I'm grateful for it. When I said, oh my gosh, you know, I want to be a mom so, so, so bad. I didn't envision that that meant getting asked for snacks every five minutes, you know? I didn't sign up for that. But it comes with the territory. It comes with the journey. And it comes with also the ability to relate to others. Because, you know, I say that's someone and all moms can relate. You know, you say certain things to certain people that are walking through similar seasons to you. They can relate to that. And that is what I love so much about the membership is because all of us, even though we are all completely different, we're different ages backgrounds, ethnicities, we live in different places, we have different businesses. Um, some of us have children, some of us don't. Some of them have us have children that are out of the house. Some of us have children that have just been born, some are pregnant, like everyone is in different life stages, but we all have some common ground of the fact that we're trying to build something amazing outside of what is our typical day-to-day -day thing. And we happen to be, you know, women that are moms and wives and we have walked through life and that is what really brings us together. And so I wanted to invite you to join us, not even to the membership, unless you do want to come to the membership, because I think the membership is amazing and I would absolutely love for you to join us in 2024. So that information will be down below. But I wanted to invite you to a training that I'm doing in this month of December. It's actually going to be taking place next week um, when I'm recording this anyway. Uh, it's going to be December 14th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's called Qualified to Inspire. This event is going to be for anyone that is looking to get fired up and poured into and get ready for the new year. 
Um, I'm not doing a vision board party this year, but this is a training that I was already planning to do for the members and I wanted to open it up to you. Um, you know, the people that are here, the women that support my channel, like I want you to be able to come and get support as well. Um, it's actually a two part event. And so the first part of it is going to be about an hour to an hour and a half. Typically, I usually will present and really share and give you all of the information and the resources and everything for about 45 minutes, possibly a little bit longer. And then the rest of it is really just a time to connect, ask questions, and really just get a chance to get on one accord with everything. And then a day late, two days later, on the following Saturday, which is the 16th at 9 a.m. Eastern, I'm inviting you to our monthly planning and strategy session. And this is a great time because it's going to be a little bit different from the ones we've done in the past. I haven't even shared this with the ladies in the membership. We're doing it a little bit different this time around, but you have a dedicated block of work time. First off, um, you have about an hour of time so that you can actually implement some of the things from the training, as well as just have some time to allow yourself to work on some things and give yourself that permission to sit down and have quiet time to just work on things that you need to do that you don't sometimes have like the mental space to work on just because life is happening, right? So you get that time and then we have a time to connect and come together and really just get geared up for the new season ahead. This time around, the new season ahead is the new year ahead. And so it will be wonderful for you to join us. All of the information for the event will be down below, but you can just expect that this event is really, like I said, it is me pouring into you encouraging you getting you fired up and excited for what it is that you are being called to do how to commit to that how to create a plan of action around that really understanding like what are your first steps to take when it comes to sitting down looking at this big idea this big business of what you want to start and how you can really see it through how you can walk that out um, and just giving a ton of tips and encouragement and resources to help you get from point a to point b so once you leave not only are you going to be ready to go and feel refreshed and poured into like i've said but you are going to have a plan of action in place that you can then use to walk you through your days going into you know quarter one of next year and beyond so that is my hope all the information will be down below the ticket price is 37 dollars, and that will get you the two-day event Plus, there's a workbook and there's some really fun extras and some just really cool things that are going to be coming next week. So make sure you find out more about that down there. I would love, love, love to see you. Um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing time. And then if you do choose to join the membership, then you will definitely already be able to get a part of that. You will already be a part of that if you're in the membership already. Um, but I think that this event is one of those where even if you choose not to do the membership, like I think that it is going to be beneficial for everyone because we all just as a thing to close on we all need to be poured into because even me this channel is such a beautiful place and i'm so grateful that god has allowed me to create this and that it is such a positive space it is a, it is a space that i'm just beyond blessed to have like i love all of you so much the ones especially those of you that continue to watch week after week and have followed along for these years um just on my journey of really just trying to figure myself out and just share along the way like just genuinely share it has always been such a passion of mine to just encourage women and i'm just so grateful that this is what i get to do but even in all of that even in me craving that to do that even in me having this platform I need to be poured into, right? And so I already know most of you that are watching this, you have something in your life where you are that person for someone, a group, might be an individual, where you pour and pour and pour and pour. And not even to the point where you feel like it's an empty cup, but where you like, okay, where is the cup? I remember um, this was an old client of mine, uh, Kiana. Oh, I miss Kiana. Um, she said something like this in one of our talks that we had. And she was like, I don't even know where my cup is. And like, that is what it feels like when you just pour so much into work, kids, relationships, friends, family, your business. If you have a social media following, your kids, you know, your children, by the time that you sit down at the end of the day, no wonder you don't be feeling like you're about to do nothing. You don't have any energy, right? Like who has time for that? But this is why I created the membership. This is why I'm off opening up. This is why I'm opening up this event to you to attend is because you need to be poured into as well. It's so easy for us to just give, 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 give to others. And it's very easy for us to put our own feelings and needs on the back burner just because we're women and you know, we should be strong and we should be able to get through it and do these things. But we all need to be poured into. We all need it. I don't care how strong you are. We all need to be poured into because at the end of the day, what do you have to give? if you haven't been given anything, you know? If you give it all away all of the time and you're not filling yourself back up with positivity and prayer and hope and understanding and encouragement and affirmation and 
just the word of God and, you know, community and just all of these things. Like if you don't fill yourself with that, that's a lonely place to be. And I have been in seasons where none of those things are happening and I'm feeling, you know, and I'm wondering like why I'm feeling out of whack and why I feel just so unmotivated and unencouraged and down on myself. And I look around and I'm like, well, when is the last time I really intentionally filled my cup? You know, like when is the last time I really made time just for me, not for content on my YouTube channel, you know, not just because so-and-so said this is what they like to do. So I'm going to do it too. But like truly, like what is it that I love to do and what fuels me? What do I need in order to feel like I can be my best self moving forward? And that is what we want. We want to be our best selves in the new year. And so if you are feeling depleted or if you are just feeling like, man, like that sounds nice, please come. I just want to love on you. I really, truly just want to love on you. I hope that I will see you at the event. Again, all of the information will be down below. I appreciate you watching this random video <laughs> for Vlogmas. And um, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.